Hey, hey, all you motherfuckers. I don't like that intro. I gotta start over. <laughs> ah, fuck it. <laughs> hey, guys, here's another video from Chovy, Chovy.com. Subscribe, like, share it on all those fucking social networks. Blah, blah, blah. So, here's what I found today. Actually, I found this about a week ago. So I go to Hacker News a lot. I go to Reddit a lot. Uh, sometimes you click through, you look at an article, and this shit pops up right away. It's like you either accept the cookies or you read some more bullshit, use essential cookies, blah, blah, blah. You scroll down, you're reading. This one doesn't do it, but sometimes something will pop up. Anyway, there's this bookmarklet which I have, which will fetch the page for me and just get the text only. So this is uh, a cool thing and I was actually posted on Hacker News the other day, which is where I found it. You can change the, uh, the uh, um, color scheme, you can increase the font, but the site here is TextFish. Text.fish. And there's a little bookmarklet. You can get the Chrome extension, but you don't really need it. The bookmarklet, you just drag this up here and you get the fish there. So now, I gotta delete this because I already have it here. Um, I subscribe to updates. One problem though is single page apps. It looks like it uses uh, server-side uh, scripting to scrape the text from the page um, which works for most news sites because they all want to get into Google but uh, I notice sometimes uh, sometimes it won't get the text so I'm actually thinking of building one that uses Puppeteer to and Mozilla's actually got a library a JavaScript library that will just take the article content only out of the uh, HTML. So, I don't know. If I get around to it, I might do this. It looks pretty cool. I actually use it for everything now because if you go to, like, Reddit, go to, let's say you go to Hot. Um, here's a news article, CNN. I've got an ad blocker, but... CNN is she's like that shit. Uh oh, looks like you're using an ad blocker. Yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna click text fish, and I'm gonna read the article, and I'm not gonna see any of your ads now. You've completely turned me off from being a uh, user of your website. The article's down here. This one didn't parse very well. Got all the sidebar shit, but it's pretty good. Uh, I actually find once in a while it's buggy, but for the most part, it uh, works pretty well. And Medium, let's see. Let's find a Medium link here. Because everyone uses Medium for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Because they fucking, you can't read the articles. You can only read like one a day. But... Here, we'll go to our our program our, our technology nah program we'll have like a medium link uh, here's one medium so you come here okay this one's open a lot of times I come to medium though and uh, like it says I have to upgrade to read the article but you just do this and boom, you don't have to upgrade. Uh, so anyway, text.fish, check it out. The guy's got a Twitter handle uh, down here. Twitter, he's just fish for text. He's got 18 followers, I'm gonna follow him. But uh, yeah, as far as his stack, let's see what he's got. I'm using a Wappalizer. 
So he's using Nginx, Mailchimp, Google Tags, Google Analytics. I'm blocking that shit, all the Google shit with a. Uh, uh, this is a uh, uBlock, which is pretty good. The thing I don't like about Chrome is that develop websites cannot detect if you're using an ad blocker. I don't like that. It's pretty easy to do, but uh, anyway. So that's it for now. Just a uh, text.fish. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, bookmarklet, no Chrome extensions. Uh, pretty handy stuff. All right. See you guys. Take it easy. All right. Trophy.com. See you. Bye.